to roll on. Ainer and Crestwood. Yeah, Blue Jackets. Coming off a big win last week over Loris. So you think they got a little bit of momentum. Indeed, you're kind of wondering at this point which Ainer team is going to show up. That's well, from how I've been following them this year. It's Is it going to be the team that literally just runs away with you? Or is it the team that's it's going to come down to the wire and has to do some creativity? We're going to find out. Let's go to the Blue Jackets and the Knights. Boom, boom. I'll take it from here. Ainer with the ball. Having to throw it. What? Missed tackles? That's a good thing. As we keep going, direct snap, running back, hook, hooks. Puts the visitors in the end zone in that one. Now the two-point conversion, that makes it 30 to 18. Crestwood with the tall receivers and the speed there. Nigel Johnson beats the single coverage and he takes it to the house. Did you see his name was Magic Johnson? Nigel. Oh, I wish. I say that was cool. It was a magical run. Yeah, it was. Next offensive possession, Cowell. Finds a gap, and that's a big guy in open field. I don't know how, it wouldn't be fun tackling him. Fourth quarter, same drive. Martin gets the touchdown pass right there wow. in the corner. Receiver doing a good job keeping the toes in. Crestwood would add another touchdown. They're dancing. Yeah, and this is one of those games where just got past Ainer just by a bit. 38 to 30. It's your final. Yeah, Blue Jackets, they uh, they were leading this one for quite a while. They were, and that was just only to watch Crestwood right come back and 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 tear out uh, tear out their opportunity at advancing in the postseason. So the Blue Jackets see their season close tonight at Crestwood High School as they wrap up the year six and five.